Blue has a master controller, and you can have one too! <laughs> kids welcome to styles remember uh thing god thing i don't know what to call this is this tutorial we'll call it a tutorial because we're gonna talk about this master controller thing that a viewer has created so in the past i've said hey if there's any programmers out there that want to create a master controller template by all means let me know so it's contacted by our lovely friend scripter the link is down below to the Gumroad, to Scripter's Gumroad, and you can go get this for free on Gumroad. So by all means, throw money at them so that they will continue to make fun toys for us because there's hints of more toys coming in the future. Wow. So unfortunately, this is going to be a 15 exclusive thing because this toy is rigged up through the master controller. When you download it, this is the actual scene that they've created. Uh, so I'm just going to delete this character uh, and this thing here because I've already been playing with this. So I have an idea of how to set this up. So here's our pose master controller. We can turn this on. I'm going to use blue and what I've done and this is a step you're going to have to do if you're using any master controller, whether you program it yourself or whether you phone a friend like I did and get them to make you something. So I've gone through and created a full 360 rig for blue. It's not the same kind of a rig that the Two Boom crowd set up. With their master controller, they're actually using deformers on every single piece, which is very heavy. And they're, they've got up to 450 frames where they go through and meticulously animate this. So this is a little bit more what you'd see at your average studio as opposed to uh, your big AAA place, where you have a character that's set up using peg pivots and the rotation is done in the same way that I did the fancy head. So even if you're not using 15, you could still use the fancy face video to figure out how to do a rotation of your character like this, where it's gonna have a decent in-between just because you've animated everything into place. And so for the most part, it's gonna rotate. Now blue in particular, the way that I've rigged him, he doesn't turn from center to, uh, to his left well, just because of the big hair flip. So if I was to put a keyframe in here, you can see that his hair and glasses don't tween well. But that's a thing, that's because of the way I've rigged him. I, I didn't anticipate getting a master controller in my future. So if you do use blue as a template, just keep that in mind. So what you wanna do, I'm just gonna delete the backdrop. Here, because it's got a whole lot of stuff. So you start off with this thing. Here's your master controller, and it has all this stuff that doesn't make any sense to the mainstream of us. Uh, it's got some sort of googly pass and a dealy over here. <laughs> I don't know what any of this does. You don't need to. So all you do is grab your guy, and you can set it up right in the center of the face here, whatever you want. I'm going to just set it off to the side here, and this is where your controller is actually going to be. Then you select this guy, the Pose Master Controller, and you hit Shift F11. So this is going to disappear. Shift F11 again, and it gives you this Master Controller setup. So all you have to do is make a simple head turn. A boop. And here is our wizard to set up a Master Controller without any form of knowledge of scratching over your head. <laughs> Ooh, this is set up just the way I like it. So I've gone through, you can scrub while this is open, which is so convenient because you can't do that with the mouth auto lip sync. You can't scrub with that open and it just find it the most annoying thing. So here you are going to tell this thing where you keep each pose. So I drew up this little chart so they could put it in their controller so you could see exactly which poses uh, you could put in. But this is just a guide. You can actually put in anything you want. Uh, you could just use this like the pose copier and put in, I'll, I'll show you in a minute, but I've gone through and uh, started at the side here, this pose here, up, down, then three quarter, up, down, front, up, down, and that'll match all along here and the numbers are all put in place. It's like they're all lined up, which is super convenient. Next step, once you put in the frame, so this is frame one, lines up with I, two is A up here. So you put in all the frames that line up to these or whichever ones you wanna put in the controller. Then you can, down here, you're gonna include which module. So if you just select the blue module or like his group, it's gonna select all the stuff inside. So if you have your stuff grouped in a sensible way, if you have a head group, you can just click on the head group and that's going to work. Now. 
For blue, I'm going to include his neck, his neck shadow, uh, his head, his glasses. So I've selected all the modules I want just by using the backdrops. But like I said, if you have groups and it does work with deformers, all those groups are going to be in there. Then you just create the head widget. <laughs> now if I come back here, it's got a new little dealie plugged in. And it's got this thing popped up, the Pose Master Control set settings. So I'm going to hit Shift F11. And now I've got a head controller. What? It's amazing. <laughs> so it's got a front and then a back. So here are all the back views of his head and you switch the front and this has got all the front views of the head. Whoa. Now I didn't have the back view set up properly. That's my bad. So right is left and left is right. That's because I didn't go in and make sure that I had the right numbers in there, but check, double check your numbers. Wee. <laughs> so as simple as that, you can now come along here, extend your exposure and on this frame and start with this head and go, have him look up and have him look down and then tween. And it's just gonna, as well as I've, and I've created my rig to rotate properly. It's going to rotate that as well as that. Wow. So this is super convenient. If you mess it up, if you're like, whoa, geez, I've completely like, this is what it looks like now. I don't know what I did the wrong thing. What you can do is just delete this pose master controller settings. Boop. And now it's going to detach from the character. So you can hit shift F11 here and you get a chance to try again, make a simple head turn. So I'm going to re-import blue because I've totally messed it up. It will maintain keyframes. So if you're here playing around a bunch and then you detach your controller, you're going to have to uh, re-import your character or fix your drawings. So make sure to do it on a test rig. Don't just import it into your main rigging file and then kind of mess it up because then you're going to have to do it over and you never want to do anything twice. So keep your keep your things safe. Beep. So I'm going to hit shift 11. I'm going to say make a head turn. But instead of making a head turn, I'm just going to select the blue folder. So this is 100% of the character. I'm not going to fix the, the thing over on the side because I don't care. And I'm just going to say create a head widget turn. So the neat thing about this is you could actually just use it to replace the pose copier altogether. So here it's imported all the views of him, including his body and his feet. So I could just use this to set up my character on each frame. I could come along to this frame, make sure it's extended and I can do my complete character rotation as I need him to switch to the back view. Boop, boop. And I can, ah, oh, it's so good for posing. And then you're saying to yourself, but you know, I really wanted a head controller. What you could do is copy and paste. You can create a second controller and I don't know how stable this is, <laughs> but I'm going to hit shift 11 for this guy make a simple head turn, all this stuff I'm going to keep the same. And then I'm going to do the neck ones. Right, so I did the full body one already. And now I'm going to collect all the stuff for just the head and create another one over here. So shift F11. And of course I've made them right on top of each other. You can move them using this. And then I have a head controller too. How crazy is that? So now I can do my initial setup here where I set up Okay, I need the front body facing to the left, but I need the head facing to the right. This is amazing. It's so good. So you could set up a pose copier version where you have your main set of different poses there. And you can set up another one that controls just the head and go along and do posing on the second one there. And they stack. And I love it. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do that other stuff. And if you do want something that rotates ultra smooth, like the one that you see on the Toon Boom website, that's done by using a lot of deformers. So rather than setting your character up the way I have, you would create deformers, envelope deformers around all your pieces, and then animate them into place for each one of your views. So every single one of these views would be done with deformer drawings. So I guess you could start at the center and then deform each of the drawings into position. And then they're going to tween very smoothly. But that's just something that 
I think is going to be a little bit too heavy for a lot of computers because I'm using a really beefy rig so I could get away with doing something that's a little bit obscene that way. But if you're using an older PC at all or you need to import a ton of characters into the scene, this kind of a rig I find is a little bit more economical. So there you go, the master controller template. One thing that Scripter let me know is if you do have the thing open, so let me just delete this. And it's as simple as that. If you, like I said, if you mess it up, just delete this thing here. And now you can start again because you messed it up. I messed it up like seven times. It's fine. Uh, there's also, you can asso associate a slider to keyframes. I haven't even played with that yet, but that sounds super fun. I want that too. <laughs> but when you have this open, you don't want to hide the controls of the thing while you have the thing open because it's it'll crash. So this is the beta version. If you guys downloaded it all, any comments you have or questions, leave them in this thread of this YouTube video and I'll get answers for you or they can come comment. I'm not sure if they have a, a channel here or whatever, but we'll get you some answers. And if you have an idea of some other type of wizards or things you'd want to set up or scripts, any sort of idea at all, they're interested in making more things to put on their Gumroad. So follow them on Gumroad, leave comments and questions down below here, any suggestions for future things, and I will keep you up to date on any future endeavors that they put out. Because this is it's just so cool to know a programmer. Yeah, see, I, I don't even know. Look at this. Wee! And even, okay, even though I deleted the, this one, this one still works. Wow! <laughs> So that's it. <laughs> I really just wanted to showcase this and kind of give it its own little space because I think it's just, it's super cool. Okay, so th this is the beta version. So let me know if there's any questions that come up, any bugs you find. Let me know if you have any future tutorials that you're interested in because I love your suggestions and I want to make sure that I'm making things that you folks are interested in. Like, share, subscribe, all those things that people ask you to do and I will see you in the next video.